While some spent Memorial Day at beaches, others honored fallen service members during ceremonies. Our Colleen Quigley spent time at Oakwood Cemetery where dozens pay tribute. <laughs> As Old Glory swayed in the summer breeze, veterans, their families and neighbors paused to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. For their families and friends, the war is never truly over because their loved ones will never return and life will never again get back to normal. In the sea of stars and stripes, Air Force veteran Fred Evans. He's come to this Memorial Day ceremony at Oakwood Cemetery for several years. You think about all the people that passed away serving their country, and then you think about the people that survived. So the least you can do, I mean, I could have gone to the beach this weekend, but I decided not to. But uh, I think something like this, they should have a lot more people out here than they do. Ready? One, two, three. Fred said he was happy to see so many young families at the Field of Honor to help recognize veterans as well as gold and blue star families. My grandpa's oldest brother, um, he was shot by a sniper at 19. Mom of seven, Ashley Hamilton, wants her children to understand what Memorial Day really means. I want them to see the deeper meaning, um, not just a day of fun. And we've had fun today as a family, but um, this is important, and we want them to see the importance of it. It was neat. Awesome. It was really cool to, like to see them um, to, uh, see them play and listen to music. It was really cool. Yeah. For those of us who have endured and have survived the horrors of war, any war, our memories are indelibly marked with the faces the names and the circumstances of our dear brothers and sisters' ultimate sacrifices. Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.